All right, guys, so we're back for another fun pick a deck. Actually, this time we're going to do a pick a deck reading for you. And the reading is what made your person fall in love with you. I've already done this for my original channel. It's actually, if you haven't checked out my other channel, that's where I upload mostly random stuffs, usually vlogs, um, podcasts or audio recordings, and pick a card readings too, especially when I'm doing some unboxing, okay? Um, but anyway... Let's actually do this reading for you guys. Let's try to find out what made your person fall in love with you. Um, there are three choices here. This is deck one, which is a traditional right away tarot. Deck two would be the urban tarot deck. And third one will be the tattoo tarot deck. Okay, you can focus on the decks. Choose which one is actually calling you out the most. Again, this is deck one, deck two, and then deck three. And let's get started with your reading. All right, deck one. So, or group one, you chose the Rider weight tarot. Let's try to find out what made your person fall in love with you. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, what made their person fall in love with them? Why did they fall in love with group one? Why did they fall in love with group one? Okay, first card you got, it's Page of Swords. Okay, you got three cards. You have here four of cups, the Empress. All right, Strength. Two more cards, Spirit. Why did a person? Okay. You got four of wands. Beautiful. One more card, Spirit. Okay. You've got ten of wands. All right. Let's try to fix this so you can see it. Let's try to check the bottom of the deck. Okay, I don't do reversal, so that's five of swords. Okay, I'm hearing spunk. You've got a lot of spunk, group one. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. I heard that strongly in my head. Spunk, you have this courage about you. All right, so for signs or just the energies, what I'm picking up is that you could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, specifically Libra. Okay, for some, Libra. And then for fire, it can also be Aries, Leo, Sag, or Leo. All right. Um, what I'm picking up here, the reason why your person fell in love with you is actually you have a lot of spunk in you. You're actually very, you know, very courageous. You have this certain spunk and this really... Um, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really feeling the energy of group one. Somebody who's actually very sassy at the same time and very strong. You know, you're actually very strong. You're actually the type of person that doesn't deal with a lot of, you know, um, a lot of gossips or that you're the type of person who doesn't want to focus on negativities. You're actually the type of person who's very caring. Okay. With the Empress energy here, you're actually very fair. It's also what I'm feeling. You're very fair. Um, you want it to be surrounded with positivity because again, you don't deal with anything that had something to do with gossips or very low vibrational stuffs or very negative stuffs. You always welcome positivity. You welcome, um, you know, positive things like being caring towards other people, being very giving towards other people. You have this nurturing side of you and you look at people um, very fairly. Okay, very liberal energy is what I'm picking up here. You love people, okay, but you don't um, go for people who are actually just shallow or you don't go for people who doesn't want to, you know, put, you know, good things really on the table. Like if you are just there to mess with them, they're going to cut you off. Definitely. They're very guarded when it comes to that. They're very guarded towards people who are actually, um, not so positive or people who are actually not going to do them good, you know, um, in general, not someone who's going to do them good. Okay. You can be really nice, 
But if they're actually trying to step in your boundaries, you're going to cut them off is what I'm actually strongly picking up here on this pile. Another thing that I'm feeling while your person falls in love with you, they love your grace. They see you as someone who's very sophisticated, especially if you're a woman. You have this very feminine energy. You're very actually graceful. You're, you're very caring. You have this motherly energy, not too smothering though, but very caring motherly energy. You probably love to take good care of people or the people that you love. You know, you're very thoughtful is also what I'm hearing right now. Very, very thoughtful. Um, a lot of you guys, whether you're a man or a woman watching this, your person sees you as a husband or wife material. It's really what I'm picking up. They wanted to build a strong foundation with you. Okay. They see the two of you being together despite of hardships, um, like with the uh, Ten of Wands energy here where there's a lot of, you know, obstacles, a lot of responsibilities and all that. Um, they would want to have that with you because they know that being together with you, you guys can form a great team. Um, another energy or um, message I'm actually getting is that despite of the many things that's been, you know, going around with you, whether what type of adversary or challenges that is, your person fell in love with you because you're very strong with a strength card here, you are actually very strong. You remain strong and positive, despite of, you know, how very, you know, burdensome that could be with the Ten of Wands here. You might have a lot of responsibilities, you know, but you were able to manage all of them pretty well. You're very balanced, just like with the Empress here, a very balanced um, person with you. Uh, the overall energy is actually the Five of Wands, so it had something to do with, for some, clash of wills or ego and all that. Um, but I'm feeling that the reason why... Um, your person fell in love with you is that you don't stand up with this type of energy, okay? You're the type of person who's going to move away from, from that type of low vibration or negative energy. You would want something to be very simple. You would want something that is just very positive, okay? You don't focus, again, like what I said earlier, you don't focus on negative stuff. You don't focus, um, you know, on rumors, gossips, things that are actually not going to be of help for you, okay? That's what they, li they like about you. But you have this spunk. You're actually very determined. You're somebody like when you say something, this is it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, un, I'm unstoppable. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm unstoppable. Okay. You're very, you're filled with, you know, a lot of spunk, a lot of sassiness. You're filled with a lot of strength. You know, you're very determined type of person. Okay. You, you, you're not easily swayed. I'm hearing that strongly right now too. Okay. So let's try to find out more clues. Let's try to pull out the wisdom of the oracle. What other clues? Why did your person fall for you? Okay, that was... All right, you got three cards. Oh, no, that's way too much cards. Hold on. I don't normally take more than three cards, so maximum will be number, just three cards. All right, Spirit, any other clues about this person? Okay, thank you. You've got TikTok. Exactly. Um, how, how am I going to interpret this card as simple as, again, you value your time. Just like what I, what I said, you are not going to waste your time on things that are very um, mundane or shallow. Um, time is of essence for you. You would rather focus all of your energies on something that's going to bring um, really positive things for you, something that is very productive. You don't go for drama. You don't go for things that's just going to waste your time. So that's the reason why you got the TikTok card. Um, let's try to pull out another card for you. Let's see here. I might as well turn on the lights because it's already like close to six o'clock over here. Okay. So you got two cards here crystals focus again purification exactly i love it when it's making sense guys because like what i said you keep your steely focus on your goals okay they love that about you you don't get swayed or you don't get distracted with things that are actually not good for you you keep your focus on things that's going to be good for you you also have this healing energy when i saw this rain card purification you are this healing very empress like you know very regal very much you know um they they look up to you really they love your energy so much that you give this very healing vibe you know you are very because of the 
um, positivity that you possess. It heals your person so much. That's what they love about you. They, you inspire this person. Whoever it is that you're asking about, they're very inspired by you. And that is the reason why they fell in love with you so strongly. Because they love your positivity. You keep your focus on good things. You don't get swayed by negative stuff, okay? All right. So let me actually try to pull out one last before we wrap this reading. Anything else, Spirit? Whoa, okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So what I feel with this card is that the reason why your person fell in love with you is, again, you are actually very balanced. You know, you're not too overly giving, although you're a giving person, but you always make sure that you give back to yourself. This is more of like a self-respect for me. I'm hearing that so strongly. You have so much respect for yourself that you don't want to waste your time on things that is not good for your space. And that person admires that a lot about you, how you love yourself, how you actually just entertain good things for yourself because you value yourself. You wouldn't want to be, you know, again, um, entertaining things that will just hinder you from growing or becoming a much better version of yourself. And that is the reason why they fell in love with you. They love how you actually do these things for yourself, how much you put yourself above others. Not too selfish, not too narcissistic, but they really love of how much you exude that type of energy and that's the main reason why you know they fell in love with you you have a very good energy group one and you're very strong you have a lot of spunk okay you're gonna fight for what is right with the overall energy too you're not someone who's gonna back down if you feel that this is actually somebody's trying to step into your boundaries you're gonna fight for it and that's what they love about you you have boundaries you have self-respect you have self-worth and you have self-love all right, so there you go, group one. Thank you so, so much for watching this fun pick a card reading. Um, if it resonated with you, um, yeah, drop some comments down below. I love to, you know, listen to your feedbacks or your comments. If it didn't, it's just simply not the reading for you, or you may choose another pile. I'll see you again next time. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. Okay, you chose the Urban Tarot deck. Let's try to find out why did your person fall in love with you or what made them fall for you spirit what made the person of group two fall in love with them okay he got two cards already i saw that hold on okay first card you got wow nine of cups that's beautiful okay second card you got the prince of swords the hacker all right What made the person of group two fall in love with them, Spirit? Oops, I'm sorry I bumped the camera. Okay, there you go. All right, let's see here. You've got the Empress. Oh, wow. Group 1 actually got the Empress card. So that is awesome. And it's, that's a different deck. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So we have here Nine of Swords, Cruelty. What made the person of group to fall in love with them? Okay. Let's see what this is. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right.
one more card spirit. Oh, oh, that's two. Let's get one more. Just one more card spirit, please. What made the person of group to fall in love with them? Why did they fall for group two? Okay, all right. You got the universe. Wow, a lot of major arcanas, actually. This is really beautiful. I hope you can see the cards. Okay, and let me take a look at the bottom of the deck as well. Let me get that for you. Wow, you have the Queen of Cups, the Therapist. Okay, so when it comes to signs or energies, I'm really feeling that the person, um, if it's an air sign, that will be a strong Libra again, or any other air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And I'm also sensing um, water signs here. So Scorpio, Pisces, and then Cancer. Okay, especially overall energy. is it could be Pisces, or rather Cancer. All right, for some. Okay, so why did your person fall in love with you? Your person fell for you because you have this, you bring them happiness, a lot of happiness within them. You might be a type of person that is actually very easygoing. Okay, you're not too complicated. That's the energy I'm feeling. You're not really, really complicated. You're actually the type of person, again, who actually um, is filled with so many, you know, loving emotions, just like with the Empress here. And it's funny, group one also got this, you know, this Empress card. You're actually somebody who's very loving. You're very caring, okay? Um, you are very, um, yeah, you're also very um, patient is what I'm hearing right now. You're a very patient person. You don't rush into things, okay? And the reason as well why your person fell in love with you, I'm hearing right now that you have a lot of, you know, wisdom and some some sort of like resources. You're a very resourceful person, okay? You're a very resourceful person. Um, you are very intelle intellectual. You're very intelligent as well. You're also a type of person that doesn't want to deal with, um, problems way too long. You don't want to get yourself too stuck in a situation. You make sure that you actually try to um, find a solution. For instance, if you're actually having some sleepless nights or some problems, you all have, right? Some problems, some things that are actually bothering us. You make sure that you don't deal with this type of energy. Just like for some reason, I'm being told to say that you, have, you are your own therapist. Like you try to find a solution towards it or you try to heal from it. Okay? You don't want to deal with this type of energy. You try to turn things around with the wheel of fortune here. Okay? Because you don't want to just focus on the negativities or you don't want to um, get yourself all, you know, stagnant is what I'm picking up. You make sure that you change that vibration. You try to um, raise your vibration. Being in that empress mode, being in that very high vibrational, um, very light type of energy with the universe card here. So you try to end that. Another um, thing that I'm getting here, the reason why your person fall in love with you is that you have this very wife, if you're a woman, whether you're a man or a woman, you have this wife material or husband material about you. You want to make sure that your person is well taken good care of, you know. Um, that's what they love about you. They love how you are good as well when it comes to social settings. You know, very liberal energy. You have that very good talent for making sure that people are all together. Like, you know, you bring people together. They love that a lot about you. And even though you've been through a very rough past, what they love about you is that, again, you were able to turn the wheels around. You were able to turn that negativity into something positive. Another thing um, that I'm picking up on this reading is that your person fell in love with you because they feel that they've never met someone um, as regal, as graceful, and as beautiful as you are, whether you're a man or a woman watching this. And they really wanted, um, I really feel that this person really sees you as a wife or husband material. And they feel that this is actually a fated meeting, you know, between the both of you. There's so many emotions as well, okay? There's so many emotions, and you bring this person a lot of joy, a lot of happiness with the Nine of Cups. You're actually this person's wish. That is the reason why they fell in love with you. Um, because I'm hearing right now, you're like an all-around package. When it comes to intellect, you're really good. You're very resourceful. You're very intelligent. When it comes to social skills, you're also good. You know, you bring people together. You're the type of person that, you know, enjoys um, family gatherings and all that okay 
very positive. And so um, they actually are looking at you and eyeing at you as somebody that they wanted to be with, really. And being with you always filled them with so much joy, with so much happiness. Okay, let's try to pull out more cards for you. Hold on. Let's try the Wisdom of the Oracle. Anything else, Spirit? Why this person fell in love with them? Okay. You've got to go the distance, okay? Um, for me, what I get from this card with a go the distance is that you're actually a go-getter, okay, for me. That is, um, I'm not going to read it from the guidebook. What I'm picking up as soon as I saw it is that you're actually, uh, you have this, you know, you're a goal setter as well. When you want something, you're going to go after it, okay? You have the steely determination and very focused, um, a lot of focus in you. Like if there's something that you truly want, your, your eye is actually, you know, um, really focused on that particular goal. And you would definitely do everything just to get that without stepping on someone's corns or others um yeah your others um uh, other people in general not gonna do that but definitely when you want something you're gonna do your very best to achieve it so again you're a very go-getter okay that's what i feel with this card okay another card that we're gonna pull out um let's try this one okay let's see here why did your person fall in love with you, group two? What made them fall for you? Whoa, okay. You got two cards. You got movement. <laughs> like what I said, move, move, move. You don't want to be in a stagnant, very flowing energy. Okay, and then the next one you have innocence or childhood. All right, this is very beautiful card to get for me because it's actually making sense on the readings that we, I mean, the, the cards that we pulled out earlier. Just like what I said, you're like a river. There's always movement. It's not stagnant, okay? Um, like what I said, you wouldn't want to be in a very stagnant or you don't dwell on a situation, a problem, whatever adversary or problem or challenge that is. You make sure that you move ahead, okay? And what they also love about you is this childhood innocence that you you remain to be very positive you have this you know innocence of a child very you know very cheerful very bubbly and very lively that despite of the many challenges you face in your life you remain to be smiling you know you remain to have this positive outlook in life and everything is just again like what i said very simple look at these two kids over here they're just enjoying their time you know walking around you know enjoying the nature and all that yeah they love that about you. You have that very childlike innocence. And um, you actually also awaken the inner child within them. That's the reason why they fell in love with you. All right. And one last, before we wrap things up, we do have here the Romance Angels. Anything else, Spirit? Whoa, that's a lot though. Hold on. Okay. All right. We have your passion. Allow your heart and so to sing with joy exactly you bring this person a lot of passion yeah so you're a very passionate person either you know it's not just passion when it comes to sensuality but it's also it's part of that for sure but it's also because of whenever you set a goal whatever it is that you want you're very passionate about it you're very determined you're very focused on it so they love that they love that passion within you you know um you bring this person really i'm keep on hearing bursts of joy you know um this person is really drawn to your energy whoever it is that you're asking about this person really feels a lot of passion for you and they love your creativity they love your positivity they love that you don't get yourself too much again um stuck 
and negative and negative stuff or in any type of situation that is bad okay and um, that's why they fell in love with you you know they really really um, are drawn to your beauty because you have the Empress your charm your elegance and all that whether you're a male or female watching this so yeah group two I hope this reading resonated with you I hope you enjoyed this um, if it did comment down below let me know um, I want to hear a story um, if not then you could choose another pile or maybe this reading is simply not for you anyway group two thank you so much bye love and light hello group three okay so you chose the tattoo tarot deck we'll try to find out why did your person fall for you what made them fall in love with you okay so let's get started spirit what made group three persons fall in love with them what made okay first card let's see here you've got knave of swords why did the person of group three fell for them all right wow a lot of swords again knight of swords interesting what made the person of group three fall for them? All right, you got here eight of wands. Okay, got two cards that fell. Let's see here. You got five of swords. Oh my God, a lot of swords energy. You could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or the person you're inquiring about. Oh wow, you got two of cups. Isn't that so good? Oh wow. Okay, a lot of intensity I'm feeling. <laughs> One more card, please. Very intense. Whoa, okay, you got judgment. Beautiful. All right, let's try to look at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy is four of cups. Okay, so obviously when it comes to signs or to energies, I'm picking up a strong air that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, on this spread, a lot of swords. You have knave, knight, and five of swords. Okay, um, you can also be a Scorpio. Uh, for some reason, I'm also picking that up. I don't know why I'm hearing Scorpio. Um, not for all of you, but I'm hearing a Scorpio energy here. Okay. And then if that is a water sign, it could be a, or any water sign like Cancer or Pisces as well. All right. So why did your person fall for you? They fell in love with you because you're actually the type of person who's very also, um, you're very cautious. I'm really feeling cautious. You know, you're very cautious. You just don't like move in a very um immature way although we have two knights or knaves here not seeing a king for some reason i really feel that message that you're actually very cautious you're somebody who doesn't just rush into things okay you're gonna think about it you're very strategic you're a planner is um the message i'm getting right now you're also the type of person that you're very intense their attraction um your attraction with this person and vice versa is very intense you both are actually also good communicators so that's also what they love about you they love that you communicate what you think okay that you're also somebody who's very logical um you could be both air signs is also an energy i'm picking up both of you are air signs with the knave and the knight here okay knave of swords and knight of swords one is actually of a younger energy if you're resonating more with both of you are air signs okay and then with the five of swords here um you're somebody who's not going to back down okay it's not that you're very egoistic but you're the type of person that i'm not going to back down because i'm gonna fight for my rights you know you're the type of person that you stick to your guns like this is what i'm fighting for no matter what you say i'm not going to move a budge buddy i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna stay here this is what i believe in and that's what they actually love about you they love your strengths as well they love your you have this really you know um very rebel type of energy about you that they truly love and they feel that they somehow also got that within them you know and that's why sometimes you get 
get to clash because both of you are quite similar for some reason okay but there's a lot of love here i feel that for some of you you guys are no longer in communication or you're in separation um but this person is really really looking at you like they can't stop thinking about you. You know, that's why they fell in love with you. They really can't stop thinking about you. They kept on thinking about the past. They kept thinking about the things that were said. They kept thinking about the good times as well, okay? Where you share a lot of good memories together, okay? And this person fell in love with you because they feel that um, this is divinely guided. They really feel that. That's so strong. Like, this is actually divinely guided that the angels are actually working on this connection between the both of you that even though you've got a lot of differences or you guys fight about the most silliest things or fought about the most silliest things, you guys are still drawn to each other and you guys love each other so much. And so with you, they felt that they wanted to reawaken whatever what was lost because I feel somebody already left the connection or somebody already left basically or ghosted but somebody actually wanted to come back and try to awaken reawaken to rekindle this connection and that's how they finally realized like i'm really in love with this person because i can't stand ignoring this person with the four of cups here i can't stand even somebody is actually very egoistic but it looks like the reason why they fell in love with you because they had to swallow their pride just to, you know, to be with you again. It's as simple as that. You made this person swallow their own pride, okay? All right, so let's try to find out more clues here. Let's try to pull out with some of the oracle as always. Any other clue, Spirit? Okay. All right. All right. We have here poised. Okay. So definitely this person finds you very confident. This person finds you remaining in your power. Okay. You're confident. You're standing on your ground. Okay. That's what they love about you. They love your, your confidence. They love how you actually, again, you stay in your own power. You're not easily swayed or distracted, you know, um, even though sometimes they might say, oh my gosh, this person is so stubborn. I, I don't know why I'm hearing that, but you just, you know, you just remain true to yourself okay and you love it you love your skin you love this about you I'm, i don't care what other people would think this is who i am you know that type of you know energy and they love how poised or confident you are all right let's try to pull out more wow i just can't stop thinking about you i tell you you know this person can't stop thinking about you all the time they might be spying your social media too by the way <laughs> gosh Whoa, okay. You got vulnerability. <laughs> okay. All right. For me, what I feel here, you actually bring the vulnerable side of them. It's not you. Actually, that's the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw this Meadow vulnerability card. It's more about your person. You actually bring out the vulnerable side of them because whoever you're dealing with, they don't want to be very vulnerable because they see it as a weakness. That's why I said earlier, there's a lot of ego involved. But this person, you know, uh, you bring out the vulnerable side of them. You make them feel or make them realize that being vulnerable doesn't necessarily mean that it's a weakness. That it's even much better for you to be in your own authentic skin. You know, that vulnerability is actually being authentic. It's not being, you know, um, yeah, it, it doesn't mean that you're a very... Um, weak person you know you're even displaying a lot of courage by being yourself you know owning up to your mistakes because with the five of swords energy it's like somebody doesn't want to admit their mistakes or you know somebody doesn't want to back down okay and you yourself you're also like that like you're gonna fight for what you think is right and you're not gonna back down as well so yeah they love that about you okay group oh my god this is so 
so crazy. But group three, yeah, they love that about you. All right, you made this person swallow their own pride, okay? One last before you wrap this reading. Oh my God, all right, hold on. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, quite immature for some. There's an immature energy I'm picking up for group three though. All right, I'm really picking up their energy. Okay, one last spirit, what else? This group three needs to know. Oops, I bumped the camera. Sorry about that. Hold on, let me just fix it. Okay. Funny. Okay, there you go. Trust. Oh, we got two cards. Let me check. Romantic feelings. You got two of cups, right? Let me read this first. I'm sorry about the glare. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so this person definitely has a lot of romantic feelings for you. That's why they can't get enough of, you know, of you. They kept on thinking about you. Some of them are staying late at night and some of them are even stalking your social media. This is so cute. Okay, you got two of cups, right? There's a lot of love. They have so much romantic feelings for you. Again, you make this person try to swallow their pride. I tell you, really, that's the message I'm getting so, so strongly. Another message that you got is trust. Okay, so it says here, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so this can go both uh, this can go both ways. It could be you, the viewer, or your person. Maybe your person is actually, you know, um, some of them, they don't know if you're going to trust them still. Because I feel that there's definitely a separation and they want you to trust them. Okay, um, it could also be you because like what I said, what they love about you as well is that you're very cautious. Okay, you're very careful. You know, you're very guarded as well. So yeah, um, this calls a lot of trust for the both of you. But definitely this person has a lot of romantic feelings. This person loves you so much and they love how you bring out the vulnerable side in them. Even though they don't like it, honestly, but for for majority of them, they're like, oh my gosh, this person makes me feel so vulnerable that I even have to swallow my own pride and ego, okay? But there's a lot of love. Definitely there's a lot of love <laughs> on this um, group. And they love your confidence too. You know, you're very confident. You know what you want. And you're not going to back down, you know. So long as you know that I'm doing what is right, okay. You also have boundaries, you know. That's what they love about you. Okay, so group three, I hope you enjoyed this um, reading. Um, if it did resonate, um, just leave down some comments down below. If not, choose another pile. Or definitely this reading is simply not for you. But thank you so much for watching, group three. Thank you. I'll see you again. Bye.